Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Gahanga Cricket Stadium. We are here for the Kwibuka Women's T20 Tournament. Match day number two, match number five. It is Cameroon versus Botswana. I'm here with the captain Sinera for Cameroon. Tuelo Shadrach from Botswana and the third umpire Gaston Yivizi. Cameroon uh, being the home side will flip the coin and Tuelo you will call. Tell us the call. Until it is, Tuelo, please come close. Congratulations, you've won the toss. What are you going to do and what are the reasons behind it? Um, what, made, what changes have you made in the 11 from the team that played yesterday? Congratulations and all the best. That is it, Sinera, please. Congratulations, you're standing in as the captain today. You've lost the toss. What would you have loved to do had you won the toss? Well, definitely, I'd love to have Sandra Flo to take her batting. But nevertheless, we're well prepared for the eventuality. Have you made any changes from the side that played yesterday? Uh, the only changes was the, the captain that has been changed. All the best. Thank you very much. That is it from us here at Gahanga Cricket Stadium. Uh, Botswana has won the toss and the. Uh. With Karesi for Botswana, they two opened the batting yesterday together. Hopefully, there are different fortunes for them in this particular game. My name is Dennis Msari and I'm here with Katia Omahoro for the commentary for this particular clash. Katia, welcome. Thank you very much. Good afternoon, Dennis. You can see one of the Cameroon players there. She has a Leslie to get us underway. And here we go, first ball. Wicked time. Down the leg side. I'm wondering what happened. Yeah, too much power behind that uh, from Shamila. But to take its time, but to reach the boundary. Another top quality shot there from Amit Shamila for back to back boundary. Pitch half tracker connected to the leg side and it takes no time to reach the boundary. Full ball connected perfectly. It's on the off side and takes no time to reach the boundary. Fast ball. A chance for a run out, and Shamila is run out again. Very good shot, misfield, and it is another boundary. Paco hits it in the air. There's a chance for a catch, and Botswana loses another one. Paco. Another lofted shot in the air, and it's another wicket for Cameroon. So, of the, I think she's contributed 59 runs. She came in when they were 10 for two. Full toss swept on the leg side. Will this be another boundary? Goes up in the air. Anyone interested in it? They call for it, and finally. Well picked up there by Tuelo, and that should find the gap and race away for a boundary. A rare boundary for both. Maybe she feels that she needs to give a strike to Tuelo. Walks down the ground, Amantle. He 
picks it up very well, but it's cover up in the deep. A very good running there by Amantle. Unfortunately, she perishes, but a very good. Oh, in the air, but put down. They have to cover some ground to get around to the ball. Up in the air, but should land safely. Sego Nalele struggling to make ground. <laughs> and that is it. She hits one in between the fielders. Will it go all the way to the boundary? To play it with softer hands. What a catch that is. But Tome comes back to ball from the pavilion and full ball. Side of stamp, Laura stamps. Full ball, loud appeal from the keeper. What a job! What a weight! Lovely stuff, lovely scenes here. Two. Bold her. When this another chance given and taken. Tim by nails that one over I think about a second I think it was a very good decision direct hit there from a monthly pavilion end beats everyone including the keeper that should have the legs to race away for a boundary meant. Goes up in the air, but a simple catch there taken by Orat. Back to back wickets there for Paco.